Hello everyone, uh, this is Pastor Edmund Castro again of the Dutton Street Mission uh, and I have written down a few things that I'd just like to talk to y'all about um, and today I'd like to talk about being rude or rudeness and if we're honest with ourselves we will have to admit that we have all been rude before in our lifetime. We've been rude to someone uh, through our words or through our actions we have been rude. Uh, the word rude means to be unlikable, hateful, cruel, bad-mannered, or disrespectful. Also, uh, the scripture in Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 21 through 22 says this, Also, take no heed unto all the words that are spoken, lest thou hear thy servant curse thee, for oft times also thine own heart knoweth that thou thyself likewise hast cursed others. So this scripture tells us don't be listening too close to what people are saying because we might hear someone put us down or curse us. But then it says, For oft times also thine own heart knoweth thou that thy thyself likewise have cursed others. So again, we have all uh, in the past, in our past, somewhere in our past, we put others down and we've been rude to others. So why would we take it so hard when we hear someone being rude to us? Also, I wrote down a few reasons that people are rude. Sometimes people are rude and grouchy because of their under pressure or they're suffering from sleep loss. Uh, maybe they're having health issues or maybe they have back pain or suffering from addiction or bitterness or from being abused. We just never know what people are going through. So who are we to judge someone else for their rudeness or for being rude to us? Uh, and if we think about it, we if we think about it, we'll remember a time when we also, you know, were in pain. We've all been in pain. And you know, when we're being in when we're in pain or when we're sick and when we're not feeling well, when our circumstances aren't going well and tragedies going on in our lives, sometimes that also uh, influences us or makes us to be rude to others. You know, sometimes you're in such pain uh, that you feel grouchy, you know, and you feel irritable. You know, sometimes painful situations cause that to happen for us. So that should help us to sooner understand that, that you know, we never know what others are going through. Maybe they're going through difficulties as well. Um, and um, and if it were not for the grace of God, who knows? We might be going through exactly what they are going through. And we might be grouchy to other people. We might be rude as well. So you just never know. Uh, in Ephesians, Ephesians uh, chapter 2, verse 8 through 9, it says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God not of works, lest any man should boast. So it says, for by grace are we saved through faith. It is also only by the grace of God that we are not suffering as other people are suffering. It's only by the grace of God that we are not in the middle of a divorce, that we are not in the middle of a tragedy. It's only by the grace of God that, that we are not suffering the way other people are suffering. So again, we never know what people are going through. And we just need to be thankful that it's only by the grace of God that we are not in their situation. So we all need to remember that. Uh, also, uh, you know, my mother, uh, well, one time, my mother told me something um, because we used to go into this restaurant here in Waco and uh, in the restaurant there was always uh, a waitress that was real grouchy and mean you know and um, she made me kind of feel like being grouchy and mean as well and uh, me and my mother were having lunch and I, I had mentioned to her I said man I wonder why that lady is so mean and grouchy you know she shouldn't be that way to customers uh, but then my mother pointed out, she said, well, maybe, you know, she has, you know, is suffering from some kind of pain or arthritis. And so anyway, the next time that she came to our table, I had noticed that she was walking with a limp. And I thought to myself, you know, 
I believe my mother was right about this. You know, maybe this lady, it looks like this lady has arthritis, especially in one of her legs because she was limping. So again, we just never know why people are grouchy. And, you know, we just never know people's circumstances. Uh, also, in Matthew chapter 7, verse 12, it says, Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law of and the prophets. Um, so this scripture says, don't let people, it's telling us to do unto others, you know, what we would have them do unto us. Uh, it says again, therefore all things whatsoever you would that men should do to you, do you even so to them. Uh, in other words, treat people right. Uh, if they're treating you bad, then you treat them good. You know, if they curse you, then you pray for them. If they're putting you down, don't put them down yourself. Because that that's only causes more problems. Uh, in other words, don't let people who are acting rude cause you to be rude. You be stronger than that. And again, have an understanding that they could be going through some difficult time. So again, none of us, we don't never need to be judgeful to a rude person because we don't know what they're going through. Um, also, uh, one more scripture I'd like to share. Uh, it says in Romans chapter 10, verse 13, it says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And uh, I just want to give you an opportunity today that if you haven't accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, uh, then today you need to do that. You need to ask Jesus. You need to call upon the Lord and ask Him to save your soul and to forgive you of all your sins and ask Him to come into your life and heart and be your Lord and Savior. And I want you to know when you do that, He'll come into your heart and life. He'll save your soul. He'll forgive you for all your sins. And um, He'll help you to live you know, a new kind of life. A life full of hope, a life full of, and I'm not talking about, uh, you know, like, for instance, they say, well, I hope I'm going to heaven. I hope that some way the Lord will bless me. Once you accept Jesus Christ, the Bible promises that you'll have a life full of hope. You'll have a full, you'll have a sure hope of heaven, and you'll be sure that the Lord will be with you. So today, if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ, again, just ask him into your heart and life to save your soul. And he'll do that. Uh, well, uh, thank you for listening today. And I hope somebody got something out of this today. Um, and I guess I'll see you next time. God bless each of you.